Hey guys, what's up? I am Teresa Miller here, joined with Holly Baxter. Holly Baxter. Hey guys, how are you? So as you know, I have been brought on as part of the BioLink coaches, and um, we want to kind of do a fun video today, but also uh, an educational video to inform you how you can not only enjoy some really amazing treats, but um, how you can kind of track some unfriendly macro food items because <laughs> that's really hard, especially when you're dieting. And Holly and I are both kind of in our reverse diet right now, so we've been able to play around with uh, more macro ranges, would mm -hmm. you say? Yeah, absolutely. So something like this that we're gonna be eating today uh, probably wouldn't be where I would spend my calories or my macro budget if I was just about to step on stage because they are so energy dense. Uh, I would probably instead choose some more voluminous, like high fiber foods. I would probably make something like this on my own using some uh, more reduced calorie kind of foods. Um, but yeah, now that we're kind of on the out from dieting and we have a little bit more flexibility, I guess yeah. we can kind of try all these and tell you guys which we like and then of course how to actually track them. Yeah, so let's talk about the company today. Mm -hmm. I have been following, it's called Cleveland Brownie Co. Guys, it's food porn. Like these things are so dense, they're so heavy. We're gonna weigh out each of them, we're gonna give you a description, and then we're gonna rate it based mm -hmm. on how it tastes. Yeah, these are definitely dense. Uh, <laughs> now, you haven't had these before, this is Never. the first time. So, I have had these, probably I've made two or three orders now. Uh, two and or three? Yeah, I, yeah, I've had these a couple of times, but oh this is all the flavors that we have here today, I have never tried. Um, so it's exciting for me too, so yes. I'm super keen. Let's, let's start off by uh, reading out, I guess, what flavors we are going to be. Uh, and this is a variety pack. It's a throwback edition. So as far as I know, it's their most popular fit flavors. And I can see exactly and why. <laughs> so let's hold these up to the camera as right. I read them out. So let's the first with. one is the, oh, it's called, it's, a, uh, it's S'mores Than a Feeling. Now look at that, guys. Holy Right. Look at the thickness of the slice. Can you see all like this like caramel or some kind of goodness in there? Like Holy. that is incredible. Look so that's Marlo on top. <laughs> it's like nice. picture perfect, isn't it? That's amazing. I can't wait to take a bite of this. Okay, the second one is called uh, Cobbler. Cobbler. So Grandma's Cobbler. Mm. It doesn't look as appealing on the top, but when you look, look at that thick look at the layer. layers. Yeah. Like, like a blueberry pop tart in there. We'll talk about the descriptions, but just look we'll at get to that. Goodness. Just feast your eyes. Okay. <laughs> the next one is called Pebble Me Crazy. You can guess only what is in this. <laughs> and then the fourth one we're gonna try is called the Bugs Bunny. Damn. Look at that. So, oh, look at all those cookies. <gasps> So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, okay, so just looking at these four right now, what do you think is going to be your favorite? I really think that the Bugs Bunny, I'm a carrot, carrot cake kind of girl, and there's like caramelized pecans on there. And then I don't know, I, I love fruity, fruity stuff. So yeah. I think I'm going to be in between the cobbler and the fruity pebbles. Uh -huh. And then I think the s'mores. It's gonna be good too, but I think that's gonna be my, my mm -hmm. last choice. How about you? Well, you know, it's funny, like obviously I'm Australian uh, and I didn't grow up with this fruity pebble, like, I don't know, this cereal. cereal. So uh, I have tried it and, and things that are similar. Is it called like Lucky Charms loops. and Fruit loops? fruit loops? Yeah, I never really got to have that. So I've tried them as an adult. I can see how that would be really fun for kids, but my taste buds have developed in other areas. <laughs> So, but I like you. Yeah. I think I am gonna love um, the Bugs Bunny. I love carrot cake. Like that's my favorite cake. Like with frosting and like cinnamon and pecans. Pecans in my country we yeah. call them pecans. And I think I'm also gonna love um, the Grandma's Cobbler. Just listening like the description. I'll tell you about it more in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> and probably the s'mores. I love marshmallows yeah. um, and a little bit of chocolate. But what should we start with? I don't know. Let's start with the s'mores. I'm going to yeah. weigh this out first. So here is the s'mores. Just look at that. 
goodness. Okay, I'm gonna pop this on the scale. Do you wanna? Yeah. Okay. 423 grams. That whole square weighs. Now, 420 grams. And it's heavy. So I wonder if all of them have a similar weight. So let's. Weigh. Okay, you wanna weigh all of them first? Yeah, let's, let's weigh do all it. Of them okay, first. so we're going in for the fruity pebble. Just gonna weigh it. I reckon they're pretty. I have a feeling they're gonna be similar. Oh! 349 grams. It's gonna be So a up. little bit lighter. A little on the lighter side. I wish you guys could, like, the smell. I could, like, they're just. Mm. And imagine if you heat mm. these up. Oh, which, yeah. Which the company did send a card. So if you can't eat all this, nor would I recommend eating all this in one sitting, <laughs> you can freeze them, save them for later. Mm -hmm. But you can also heat them up in the microwave for 10 to like 15 seconds to get yeah. them like warm and gooey. Yeah, and when I ordered our last pack, Lane and I had these heated. Like we had some of the chocolatey oh ones with caramel and like it just oozed. I bet you that s'mores would need oh. to be heated up. So the cobbler, we're gonna weigh it right here. Three, Again, 349. 349 grams. So that one is exactly the same as the Fruity Pebble. And the last one is the Bugs Bunny. Let's see. How oh, much. This one feels a little bit heavier. Does so. it? Yeah, it looks dense. 356. 356. Now let me just turn it around. So really, sure. the heaviest brownie coming in first place is that it's s'more than a feeling. <gasps> Let's go ahead and start with the s'mores. We're gonna cut off a fourth of a corner. I'm so excited. I haven't eaten anything. So like, Teresa and I did a really killer workout this morning. Um, we had our final big lower body session for the week and it was about two hours and I haven't eaten anything. I think Teresa, you just had like a shake this morning. Yeah, just a protein so, shake. And again, that's an example, like that's a strategy that I use to fit things like this so yeah. they can still enjoy some treats yeah. that are really calorie dense but you know still have uh, some success when it comes to my weight yeah and you can think about when you're hungriest most is yeah. when to incorporate something like this yes. to satisfy that seat too. so do you want to weigh out like what you're going to have okay so i honestly just did half of a fourth so it's, hold that up right there get it in there small, Look at that. but i'm going to be sampling a lot of these so yeah. I'm just gonna track this. What does it weigh? So this one, 55 grams. 55 grams. That's good. All right, here it is. Are you gonna try it with me? Okay, let me. Yeah. all right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really surprised. I was thinking it was going to be really like chocolatey, but it's fudgy. It's like fudgy with graham cracker <laughs> and My bite was so much bigger than yours. <laughs> it's in my teeth. <laughs> okay, so this, this it's more than a feeling. It has a brownie base layered with s'mores pop tart, uh, topped with s'mores cookie dough, topped with a toasted marshmallow and a chocolate graham. Mm. Normally, like I'm not the biggest chocolate fan. I know it sounds weird, but I am. It, I just get over it really quickly. I'm more of a white chocolate caramel kind of person, but that that's a good amount of chocolate. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be worse. I thought it was gonna be overwhelmingly. No, so the bottom is really rich, like the brownie base. Yeah, there's a brownie base, mm -hmm. but then there's a blondie. Mm. Base I think it's like a really good balance mm -hmm. um, of flavors. And the marshmallow bit on the top was, mm. It wasn't, awesome. yeah, it wasn't too much marshmallow. Yeah, okay, that is just Yum. totally decadent. I'm How's the texture? Super moist. <laughs> Our favorite word. word I think in everyone the English knows dictionary. This. The word moist and you is know, the most awkward and word. And the other one is quiver. <laughs> quiver. I hate quiver and moist. They're like the two words. I know, I caught myself when I said moist, but it really is moist. <laughs> In okay. a good way. So let's, I think we should give these a rating. Yeah. Okay, so out of 10, we'll count down three, two, one, and we'll say what we think out of 10. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Seven. Eight. Ooh. <laughs> so I so, give it a higher score. So why do you, so is there any particular reason why you think eight? I was just thinking about, it, it's like the, it's cooked perfectly. It's not too mm. gooey, it's not too, crunchy, overcooked, it's like the perfect combination. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't overwhelmed with like the chocolatiness. I don't know, I, mm -hmm. maybe because it's a small piece. Um, I would love to, I think I would have given it a high score if I heated it up. 
Yeah, yeah. The s'mores would the have been really good. would have been nice with the marshmallow. So that's why, because it's cold, I think it might, I would have given it a high score yeah. if I heated it. That okay. makes sense. Moving on. Moving so on. So what one do you want to do next? Grandma's Cobbler. Grandma's Cobbler, okay. So Grandma's Cobbler is a blondie base layered with frosted blueberry Pop-Tart topped with a blueberry cheesecake cookie dough wow. with white chocolate chips and topped with graham cracker crumb. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm gonna hold this up so you can see the inside because you couldn't really see it mm. um, in the original. So you can see there. Top was kind of boring, but when you open it up, surprise! So it looks a little on the drier side. It does. Doesn't it? So again, this might be one that is better heated, but I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. Let's weigh it. That's 47 <laughs> grams. All right. Okay, cheers. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be, but you can definitely taste it's that hint as, of blueberry. Yeah, it's not as fruity as I thought it'd be. Mm -hmm. No, it's very, it's very light. palatable. It's a light fruity flavor. Mm. Wow. Mm. I don't know how to describe this. It's, it's like not dry on top. The crumbles is really dry on top, but it's it's. Moist in the middle. Moist in the middle. The dry on the top. top. It's not a strong flavor. Okay. If I was making this, I'm such a sweet tooth. So I think I would actually add a little bit more sugar or some more, more blueberries, blueberries to give it a bigger pop. More so. blueberry, and I think I'd want it a little bit more gooier mm. in the middle. I was expecting it to be more gooey. Yeah, like having it, um, like a white frosting mixed in with it or like mm -hmm. a white chocolate or something like that. Yeah. Just so it adds or makes that flavor pop. Okay, all right, so let's right. give it a, a score out of 10. You ready? Okay. One, two, three, six. six. Ooh. Yeah, okay. okay. Ooh, we were harsh critics. Oh, God. I mean, these are amazing brownies, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But in comparison, I guess to see the relatively. C compared between, to the s'mores in yeah. that one. Yeah. yeah, I think the s'mores was better than the cobbler. Can you imagine if we tried to make this ourselves? I'm sure it would be like a, a two. <laughs> I know. How did they get it so good? They like know. mastered the art of the brownie. They are incredible. All right, I think we should save our favorite to last. Yeah. So do you want to go Let's for go ahead and do the Pebble Me Crazy? Pebble Me Crazy. Go ahead and read that off. Okay. Pebble Me Crazy looks yeah. amazing. Um, it is a blondie base, so I think they're all blondie base, layered with strawberry or frosted strawberry pop tarts, topped with strawberry fruity pebble infused cookie dough. <gasps> and topped with more fruity pebbles. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna like this one. Like I said, it's not a flavor that I'm used to, but I'm guessing it's gonna be just kind of like a birthday cake flavor and some... Yeah, we'll see. It like, does look a little flaky in the middle. 35 grams. Okay, cheers, all right. Mmm. 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 It's like a party in your mouth. Mm-hmm. It's really a festival. It's like a rainbow in your mouth. Like it's a circus. <laughs> it's a festival. It's a, <laughs> what's that one festival? The Rainbow Serpent Festival. Mm. I was thinking like ultra. Ultra. It's like ultra. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised. I really like that. I know. I told you you'd be surprised. I was gonna be surprisingly. It's into that sweet. One. This is actually quite sweet compared to the blueberry cobbler. Mm -hmm. It's sweeter than the cobbler. It's much sweeter, which I am, I'm down for that. And although the flavor reminds me of childhood. It's refreshing. Like it's a burst of Yeah, it's, it really is fruit. like a burst. Okay, I have had, uh, what are they called, Fruit Loops? Mm -hmm. So it kind of feels like you're eating some Fruit Loops, but it's a nicer mm -hmm. texture. Like it, it, it's, it fits. Yeah, I think I would have never soft. put thought to put a strawberry pop tart with in the middle um three mm -hmm. pebbles well i've never had a strawberry pop tart either i'm just mm. uh, pop tarts aren't an australian thing so i like for the really? first time very recently tried pop tart and i was like ooh, but they're there's so many low in fat as well so yeah people, it's just sugar yeah people will eat pop tarts on show day mm. as like their their carbohydrate yeah. mm. i've seen it okay so should we rate this one okay ready one two Three, Seven. six point five. Six point five. <laughs> well, it's Seven. between. Yeah. 
Well, this one was a seven. That one was a six. So this is definitely. I rated right that in the one middle. an eight. Yeah, it's in the middle. It's in so the middle. We're still we're on the same page. Yeah. Comparison wise. Yes. But yeah, okay. so far s'mores, then the fruity pebble, then the cobbler. But we still have one more left. We do. This is gonna be our favorite. Do you want to read this one out? Okay. I'll do the cutting. Bugs bunny. This is just. It looks. Like, let me just hold this up for y'all again. Like. It has dimension. Damn. Look at that. Let me just spin that around. Like, oh, layers. So the Bugs Bunny is a blondie base layered with carrot cake Oreos Look topped with Oreos. iced carrot cake cookie dough and topped with candy pecans and more carrot cake cookies. There's like mountains and valleys on the top of that. Oh, I've gone on the small side again. Here we go. 36 grams. Like we're doing very small quarters here. Yeah. And mine is 57. <laughs> wow. She gave me a bigger piece. Okay, all right. Just let's have a quick look inside. Look at all that gooey goodness. This is gonna be the moist one, I can tell. Oh my God, smell it. It smells <sighs> like, at, like grandma's house. Mm. <laughs> Even though it's not grandma's cobbler. That's nice. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's on point. Yep. Oh, the white chocolate. The candy pecans. The brownie. It's like a cross between a carrot cake and a pecan pie. Yep, that's exactly what it is. And there's a bit of like nutmeg. I can taste nutmeg. I can nutmeg, taste cinnamon, cinnamon. White chocolate. That's. Mm -hmm. The pecan and obviously pecans and again, are amazing. It's like gooey in the center and then the crunch it's, from the pecans. It's like they've almost caramelized. Like the pecan, oh, that. Mm. Wow. That, I knew that would win. I just know my taste palette mm. and my palette. That is so good. Notice I took like two bites out of mine. She took one. I just kept one. <laughs> No, it's a fair change from normal. Last time when we did the donut comparison, oh, the donut. I was like, wah, 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 wah. I was literally <laughs> to pace sick myself from the donuts, and Holly's like, I'm no, I was sick, like, I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna keep going. going. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the macros today, which exactly that probably is a good segue into how do you go about tracking something like this? <laughs> just let me hang on. I just gotta take that in. That flavor is so good. You can taste the wow. carrots as well, like the iced carrot cake. Okay, let's give it a rating out of 10. You, you count really it. I'm thinking about Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Ten. Nine. You gave it a 10. I gave it a 10. That is so good. I, I, I think this one would be really good warm too. Yeah. Just like how you said with the s'mores. Oh my God, now I'm going to go to Australia on Monday and I don't even have any goodies to take with me. Oh. That's fun. I'll share my goodies. <laughs> Will you share your goodies with me? <laughs> so if we were realistically oh. logging some of these into our app, we mm -hmm. have already weighed our portions out. Mm -hmm. um, and you have, at least we have the uh, description of kind of what is in it. So most of these were a blondie based brownie. My strategy for kind of working out like what something like this would contain, I'm probably a little unique in that I bake a lot. So I have a pretty good track record. I'm very experienced at what, knowing what's in a lot of these things because I bake so often. So because I am cooking and preparing foods, I kind of are familiar with the amounts um, mm. and then therefore the macros. So if and that's- And you get better at it. The more that you log, the more that you experience, it yeah. becomes very second nature yeah. to you. Well, I've been flexible dieting now for 10 years. Actually, it'll be 11 years in a few days when I turn 31. <laughs> so I have a lot of experience, but if you are new to flexible dieting and you just have no idea where to start, open up your app, now, Teresa has, I have she's eight. gonna be using my fitness, pal. my fitness Pal. What I would do is recommend just typing in like a blonde brownie, because this is a generic blondie. blondie. Um, and what have you got there for the macronutrient profile? So, that's for one gram. So for instance, our- We were having like 40 gram on average Okay, bites. so I'll do a 40 gram mm -hmm. That's bite. 140 tax base, yep. And that's actually not bad. And these oh, are small pieces. So what does it say there? 
So. <laughs> that light reflecting. Bring um, it back. What does it say? So it is 20, 23 grams of carbs, about 4 grams of fat, and then 1.5 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. So you can see how like if you had a bunch of it, it would add up. So like now times that by 4, since we ate 4, so 120 grams. Sorry, 160 grams, my yeah, bad. We just had 4 grams. pieces. So Hang on, got 160. Yep. Okay. 95 grams of carbs. Oh shit. 15, well about, it rounds up to 16 grams of fat and six grams of protein. Mm -hmm. so, so, which is fine if you've saved your carbs and your fats. Yeah. And so if you were someone who wanted to do a treat like this, mm -hmm. we would recommend saving 50% of your carbs and your fats to save yeah. if you want to go out to dinner or you want to do a cool cheat meal. Yeah. Um, and it's completely fine. Yeah, so Teresa, your macros at the moment, you're 190 grams of carbohydrates is your daily target. Yes. Yep. And your fats are? 55. 55. 120 protein. So this is, uh, this is basically taking up half of Teresa's daily carbohydrate intake, which yeah. is a lot. But had she planned for it, I mean, this fits. So she can, she could be competing, and she can still fit this kind of stuff in her diet. Um, fats is always challenging, <laughs> but I mean, it's 16 grams of fat. Her daily target is 57. Did you say? 55. 55. So she's still got some flexibility now. If she wanted to go out and have dinner um, and have a drink, she could probably still do that. But I think the key thing to remember is um, you shouldn't be eating like this every day. Um, macros are really important when it comes to weight maintenance, but you also need to take into consideration your micronutrients, like vitamins and minerals. You need to take into consideration dietary fiber, um, and these should be your sometimes foods. Mm -hmm. This is like the once a week, yeah, sure, we'll have this, yeah. but it's not like we do it every day. Right. I think the problem people end up falling into is they just become these types of foods uh, and fast foods yeah. become part of people's everyday life and they're not tracking it. So I could easily eat a whole one of these. I mean, I have a big appetite <laughs> and my eyes are always oh my bigger goodness. than my so, belly. So if I wasn't careful and I didn't weigh this out and I just went, oh yeah, I'll just eat that whole square. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so freeze them. one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight servings. So let's try, um, let's add that up and just see what the macros for all of would it be one. for a whole square, so double. So in one brownie, in that whole brownie, if I ate that, 249 grams of carbs. That's beyond our entire day's yeah. calorie requirements. Yeah. 41, 41 grams. 41 grams of fat, and which I actually believe these are probably a little bit higher. They could be, yeah. Because a regular brownie does not have all of these thick, Field layers these are dense yeah and 15 grams of protein yeah and you know we haven't even added in the toppings mm -hmm. so depending on which brownie and the description of the toppings yeah. we would add that in yeah here. so the, the one with the pecans pecans are very calorie dense they it's are. just fat essentially and a small amount of protein uh, and then the, the smalls one as well with all of the chocolate chips um, and the chocolate like that's going to be significantly higher in fats probably mm -hmm. than a regular brownie because they are just so dense. It's like basically flourless. You can just see how quickly that would all add yeah. up. Mm -hmm. But all in all, we hope this was a great educational video for you to know how to kind of estimate something that is not macro friendly um, because the misconception with flexible dieting is that you can just eat whatever you want mm -hmm. as long as it fits. But um, it, there's a lot more to it than that. And overall, balance is probably your best option there. Indeed. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if, there are, if you enjoy this kind of video, please let us know. Give us a comment. Um, and if there's something you want to see from us, eat. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, so I also let nice. us know, um, you know, we have some time on the weekend to... To fill our bellies. Yeah. We train hard so we can eat. <laughs> we do. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for coming thanks on for to my me. first video. <laughs> All righty. We'll see you next time. Yeah.